damn it, I lost my place again. Oh, yeah, yeah, Storm in the Capitol. I was telling them, dude, I was like, to be honest with you, I feel like we should have done that a long time ago, but not over Trump, not over the election. I think we should have done that when they gave uh, when they gave all those corporations billions of dollars and then they gave us twelve hundred dollars to kind of like hang out for the next nine months. Uh, I think that's when we should have fucking done it. We should have just storm in it, you know, just to let them know, hey, don't forget that we're not all on Twitter, man. Some of us can reach out and touch you. So I feel like that's healthy. You know, I think the government needs a healthy fear of the people. You know, maybe not over this. Like, I don't I don't think, you know, over the election uh, or election fraud or whatever. I, I didn't I didn't keep up with the with the election. Uh, I mean, I kept up with it just because you can't get away from it. But I didn't really look into like all the stuff that they're claiming and this and that. So to me, it's like, look, man, I, I'm not getting arrested over Trump or Biden. You know, I'm not getting shot with a fucking rubber bullet in my thigh over some fucking politician that's like making way more money than I do during the pandemic while I'm fucking out here trying to like scrape by. So, uh, yeah, uh, as far as storming the Capitol, man, it was, uh, right idea, wrong issue. <laughs> I don't think we should, I don't think we should be storming it over fucking shits of like, Oh, my guy should have won. But, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta let politicians, you can reach out and touch them, man. It's good. It's good for their health, you know? That way they don't sit there and and make all these these laws assuming that nothing's going to happen to them if they fuck you over, which they have. Um but yeah, man. Uh don't be don't be throwing rocks at tanks over a fucking politician, dude. Politicians are are are, are just pe Dude, if you love a politician, that is the equivalent of, of thinking that a stripper likes you. It it really is, dude. You, you ever see, like, a, you ever go to a strip club and one of your friends is like, man, she fucking digs me, dude. I know it. And it's just sad, right? It's just sad. It's like, fuck, dude. What's wrong with you? You know, what, what, you know my parents weren't perfect. I'm, I'm a fucking mess of a human being emotionally, but I'm not going to fucking think that a stripper likes me. You know, it's the same thing with politicians, dude. Don't Don't fall in love. You can't turn a politician into a housewife, man. That uh, that shit ain't gonna. That dog just ain't gonna hunt. You know, you're gonna get your heart broken. I'm telling you. So yeah, no more doing goofy shit for politicians, man. We should do it for ourselves. You know, I'm probably gonna get pulled off of YouTube. <laughs> what do I say? What do I say that uh, that I don't like Trump? Would that keep them from, uh, I don't like Trump, but every once in a while you got to bust in through the fucking Capitol Hill <laughs> and be like, what's up motherfuckers? What are you guys doing? $600. That's what, that's what they should have done. That's what they should have done over the $600. That would have been a good reason to go over there and fucking knock shit over. Go over with your, with your, with your check, right? With a physical check or, you know, symbolic 600 bucks. Symbolic check. Actually, you don't want to get robbed. And just go up there to Pelosi and McConnell and be like, you're fucking light. You're fucking light this month. And then just treat them like you're a fucking loan shark. <laughs>